Hey there everyone, I'm Michael, and welcome to another video. Now, this is gonna be a weird video, but it's sort of keeping up with the whole OS first timer thingy, because as you guys may know, or may, may not know, depending on, um, depending on who you are, uh, OS first timer has been revived, sort of. Um, a new video was released last Friday or Thursday, depending on your time zone. For me, it would have been Thursday, except I only saw it on Friday, but you get the point. Um, a new episode got released, and it was sort of well-received, I guess, um, among the new newer fan base, uh, not really the older fan base. Um, I, I, I've actually got a video idea um, talking about OS First Timer and all that stuff, but... For now, while that video is being worked on and planned out, um, because it's gonna be more of a, more of a, uh, not really scripted, but more structured video than usually what I do on this channel. But, I decided to have a look at OS First Timer New Zealand, aka OS First Timer NZ. Now, this person is not the real OS First Timer. Um, it is not Phil. It is someone completely different, um, but, you'd think, based on the panel art and everything, that this is Phil. That this is oh, an official OS first timer thingy. But, let me tell you right now, it is not. Um, the, or this person has currently, at the time of recording, um, 602, or 603, sorry. 603 subscribers. Um, I don't know how to use the new YouTube channel UI at all because I rarely ever do so I don't know how many channel views he, or they have um, but basically it's the same premise as OS First Timer um, you or they get their family member, members to try out different operating systems and see how user friendly they are um, same exact present premise in fact um, this channel gets a lot of hate for directly copying OS First Timer for views, and this is probably why, um, because if we look at the channel trailer, For those who may have not watched OS First Timer before, um, well, I'm an old, I'm an old fart, and I've been there since pretty much the beginning. And that panel trailer music, including the first few seconds, was directly a copy of the OS First Timer intro. Now, I can't really knock this guy, because you know what, fun fact, my... My primary school for grade 6 graduation, when I graduated grade 6, used that exact same iMovie template as OS First Timer did. Um, well, of course, it was emitting the first second intro because the first few seconds of this video, including the er, and the main OS First Timer channel trailer, is a watermark. It's telling you who made the trailer, even though in this case it's inaccurate. Um, this. This is an iMovie template, um, so yeah, and I know it's an iMovie template because, well, actually, whenever I watched the, or basically what my school did is they used this same sort of template to create a sort of fanfare-ish epic trailer for middle school. Lockers, vending machines, a cafeteria, all of that cool stuff to really hype up middle school and high school. For us people graduating grade six and it worked uh we were all freaking excited but at the end of it there was this little little watermark that said, that said made with iMovie 
so yeah. Um, <laughs> so I can't really knock OS First Time or New Zealand for that, because this is an, this is an iMovie template, but it gets worse. Um, for, that's not what I wanted. Um, I, no, no, stop there. All right, you can you can stop with the freaking autoplay, YouTube. Thank you. Um, it gets sort of worse. First of all, you'll notice same exact Windows um, or Linux Penguin with a Windows logo and an Apple logo on it. Um, I like how the freaking panel artwork is has um, classic OS first timer, like the really old one I think, um, with. The words New Zealand and a New Zealand flag has plastered right onto it. No fucks given. Um, but, you know, it's not all bad. Okay? It's not all bad. Um, let's delve further into this now. Let's see how many videos. There's quite a lot. Um, um, we're only getting a... F okay, there's an outlier right there. Um... Wow, okay. I can see, and I, I think I know exactly what's going on with these view counts. Um, you see, OS First Timer kind of died for a while, um, so this is the only alternative. Uh, of course people are going to watch this, and... Oh my god. Oof. Um, it doesn't really go, it doesn't really get this bad, because you know what? Um, I'm trying to find it. Uh, but there's there, there's actually an episode on Shift OS now. If you guys don't remember, um, there it is, right there, right here. Dad tries out Shift OS three years ago. It got two point one k views. Part of those views were me refreshing the page in awe that this existed. Um, I'm kidding. Uh, Shift OS is a game that I worked on and that Phil worked on. Phil was the original developer, and then I took over in 2015 and kept developing until 2017, and we don't talk about that. Um, there's an episode of this. Now, I've only seen this recently, but... 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 Okay. That's not really what I wanted. I didn't expect YouTube to play it through all the Today, way. Today, that is going to try shift. Now, first of all... Oh god, that blurry freaking uh, Shift OS icon. It is not meant to be upscaled that high. Just saying. Um, Today, that is going to try Shift OS. Now, I'm going to be honest with that whole um, that intro made me feel this was a troll. Because obviously, obviously this would have been like a, uh, um, you know... I think you would have picked up on the fact that the word try got cut off and it just sounds like try, try, hit to us. We're gonna be try, hit to us. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a blurry photo of Philip Adams. Given they look identical, I've seen this picture before. Um, actually come to think of it. Holy shit, that... That photo looks remarkably identical to a certain someone I know, so that's terrifying. Um, she was made by Philip Adams. In Shift OS, you have to earn code points to buy upgrades. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Oh fuck, that was the worst way to describe Shift OS ever. Uh, and, and I've described it before. Um, anyway, 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 anyway. Um, right now, he's logging into Arch Linux, which is just crazy. crazy. Um, why? Hint, numlock on. Um, VBOX login! Uh, <laughs> oof. Um, as you can tell, this is probably... Y you may not realize this, but this, um... This is sort of the same exact format that Fell uses, just a different OS. In Phil's version of this intro, he uses MS-DOS. And the freaking keystrokes are completely off sync from what's going on on the screen. Oh, horrible. Literally unplayable.
You're rape. You're rape. He misspelled staring. I misspelled starring. And I, mis I mispronounced it. <laughs> um, but this is a mistake that was made in the first few instances of this sort of intro in real OS First Timer, which is glorious. Um, uh, oof. Uh, don't know really how to react to that. This is what made me really think it was a troll. Why is that being used as the freaking footage? Um, what? Now let's contrast this to real OS first timer intro. Let's go with, um, uh, er, can DOS replace Windows 7? That is a common search on YouTube, that's terrifying, but let's look at this one. I know what I'm about to do sounds crazy. And I don't really care. Alright, now notice, no, notice how it's sort of fading into this MS-DOS prompt, and let's watch right from here. This is real OS first timer, the keystrokes are synced. It... it actually looks good. The audio quality is about 50 billion times better. Starring is spelled correctly. And Phil's, um, picture isn't... An emoticon. This is OS First Timer. Make mo make no mistake. So when I saw this, oh, this could be wrong. This is completely, completely <laughs> first impressions. I don't really know who OS First Timer New Zealand is, nor do I care to get into any sort of fight. So uh, I should probably say this right now. These are his what it looks like, not saying this is actually true, um, but I'm also having reasons why I think this, um, this sort of makes me feel like this is the cheapo Walmart version of OS First Timer that, like, never really saw the light of day, um, and it's kind of sad because he gets all this hate but in my opinion, and I'm going to be going into this later on um, in another video that I'm planning. Uh, OS First Timer has this unique sort of charm to it that was only really there in the first few episodes before the format got changed. Um, and it can really be summed up with, well this scene that we're gonna go look at. I, 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 I'm, I'm happy that I, I'm good friends with Phil and he won't freaking take down notice me for this, but... Um... Okay, this is Diana's first time on the computer using Windows 8. Straight to the point, that's what the video is going to be about. And there's no over... Exaggerated editing, no freaking screaming into the microphone saying, Oh my god, this is this operating system and what it can do! Um, there's none of that. It's, it's completely wholesome. You're watching a mom use Windows 8, who, who, who's not really, really computer literate. Um, really good with computers. She's used to Windows XP, which is really old, even by 2012 standards. And he's using Windows 8 for the first time, and this is what happens. And at the end, toward the end of the video. There's Firefox. Yeah. So do you like that or not? No. You can clearly tell he's getting annoyed. <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah, that I don't is... like it. There you go. Straight to the point. I don't like it. I'm annoyed.
Leave me alone, Phil. Windows 8, and there's a camera for you. But this, it's not compatible with my camera. But there we go. Hate it. How much money would you pay right now if they said, we're going to install it on your computer, if you don't have it installed, you've got to pay a fine of $100. Would you pay the fine of $100? Pay, pay the fine of $100. <laughs> See, uh, this is the first ever episode of OS First Timer. This is original OS First Timer. This is the video that draw, drew me into it. And, and somehow he got me into this whole community. If it weren't for this video, I wouldn't have been interested in OS First Timer. I wouldn't have even known it existed. I wouldn't know Hanto S existed. I wouldn't have gotten into programming, and I wouldn't be where I am now with three dual credits with very high marks, and a dual credit is basically a college course that you can take in high school with other college students who are actually taking the real thing. So it's an actual college course that you would, act, you would normally have to pay for, and you get a college credit and a high school credit. I've done three of those already in programming and gotten extremely high marks. Um, like, to the point of being top of the class high marks. If it weren't for OS first time or none of that would have happened. Um, and it's this wholesome content that I believe not only me got hooked by, or not, a, not only myself got hooked by, but most of the OG community that's still hanging around each other to this day. We're all we're all growing into adults together, and it's thanks to this first ever video with barely any editing in it. Um, and, and it's just so wholesome. My point is, OS First Timer used to have a very, very, very big sense of wholesome to it. And what happened was, and I'm gonna be glossing, I'm gonna be explaining my theory or and everything in more detail in another video. But what happened was OS First Timer sort of declined over the years and eventually it started, it, it died. And then OS First Timer New Zealand existed and sort of continued the original format, the unscripted, um, unedited, mostly wholesome OS First Timer. And he gets a lot of hate for copying OS First Timer. And it's really sad for me because, well, I miss original OS First Timer. I really do. And I, I can't speak for everyone, but I'm sure there's a lot of people in the community, uh, the Bits and Bytes community, and the Bit Phoenix community, and, and the Astral Phaser OS First Timer community. So we're all fragmented now, which is great. I'm really sad. Um, that miss the original content, the original format. And, well, I'd honestly love to see more OS first timer, not e not if not even just by Phil. Like I want to see more people getting their family members or their friends to try out different operating systems and see how they're like. Like I want to see people use Arch Linux for the first time and see what they can do with it, computer literate or not. Um, I enjoy that content. I don't enjoy having some scripted tech nerd news person or whatever tore me through an operating system. If I wanted to look through an operating system in that perspective, I'd throw it in a VM, try it myself. I, I like seeing novice computer users and, and kids and things like that, or people like that, using these more obscure non-Windowsy operating systems, or even Windows whenever they make a huge blunder like Windows 8. Um, I like seeing that because it really puts things into perspective how badly a shitty user interface can fuck up an experience for someone. I enjoy that content, and we've sort of lost that over the years with OS First Timer. Um, the main line. And I guess OS for Summer New Zealand tried to keep it going. It just wasn't executed very well and he gets a lot of hate for it. Which, you know what? I guess such is life on YouTube. But it, it's really sad for me. But anyway. Sort of a look at OS for Summer New Zealand. What it were a face value cynical look and then my actual feeling toward it. Um, so there you go. I guess... 
this is a very freaky face of Diana. Um, like the, you know what, for those of you who, who, um, haven't seen this ending of the video, it's actually pretty hilarious, so I'm gonna keep it playing for you guys, and we're gonna end off the video with this, um, but really, seriously, watch these older OS First Timer videos, even if, even if you're in the newer community, and watching the newer videos, go back to the first few videos and watch them, and see what you think, see if you think they're better than the old, or than the newer content. Um, make up your own opinion. In my opinion, this, this is true OS first timer. I've had enough of And it. how much do you think they're saying that it costs to buy Windows 8 now? They should pay people for it. <laughs> Freaking word. Anyway, I've been Michael. Um, nice either Diana or Phil finger reveal. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.